I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are highly favored. You cannot fail. You cannot fall. You are set up for blessings and you are designed for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. And I am your privileged host, Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center in Arlington, Texas. Thank you so much for tuning in to this broadcast today. I appreciate you. I value you. The Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus. For everyone that has been calling in, thank you for your calls. It goes a long way to make us understand and to know that we are impacting you. Thank you so much. God bless you. I appreciate you. I value you so much in Jesus' name. Now, in case this is your first time of watching this broadcast, or probably you have been watching, but you have not yet requested for your free prayer CD, I'd like you to do so today. Now, I'm giving out a free prayer CD that is entitled Prophetic Daily Prayer. It's a prayer message that is prophetically packaged and revolutionally loaded to position you towards enjoying the best of God for your day. Now, it's right there on the screen. Just call in the number right now, or you just um, go to the website, www.wordrevival.org. You will find a request for offer there. Click on the request button, fill in the form. It will be mailed to you absolutely free of charge. It's a prophetic message that is designed to pray the day for you, to subdue the works of the wickedness over the night, and to position you for the favor and the blessedness of the day. So call in right now, request for your free copy anywhere in the world you are. It will be mailed to you in the precious name of Jesus. And I know it shall surely be a blessing. You recommend it to somebody, refer somebody to it. Let somebody be touched by the word of God. It will really, really change their story for better. Testimony abounding everywhere of what God has been using the prayer message to do. You are the next in line for that testimony in Jesus' name. Now, God's word is about coming your way today, and it's coming with power. But I would like you to invite someone. I want you to call someone to join you. Call the family. Call your children. Call your parents. Let them be seated together with you. Let them know that it is time to be empowered for the next level. Because you must understand with me today that the height of your attainment in life is a function of the depth of your empowerment. I'd like to say that again. The height of your attainment in life is a function of the depth of your empowerment. Listen to me. How deep a foundation is, is what determines how high the building will be. Now, empowerment is the depth. When you connect with empowerment, it positions you to be able to attain and rule your world productively. So until you are empowered, you will be overpowered. It takes being empowered not to be overpowered in life. When you are empowered, you command undeniable results, undeniable results in life. So when you lack power, you lose out of life. When you lack power, you lose out in the journey of life. You will not be a loser in the precious name of Jesus. So empowerment is very important for your attainment in life. You cannot rise beyond the level and the depth of your empowerment. In Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20, the Bible says, Now, unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we can ask or think, according to the power that is at work in us. Now, understand the scripture very well. God is able to do exceedingly. So, the capacity for exceeding abundant manifestation is available for you. But it is not according to your words. It's not according to how deep you can pray. It is according to the power that is at work in you. So the power at work in you determines your place on the earth. I'll say that again. The power at work in you is what determines what you enjoy on the earth. Exceeding abundance dimension is available, but you can't step into it until you are empowered. According to the power at work in us, it is according 
according. So the power at work in us determines our promotion, our advancement, our attainment in the journey of life. Therefore, God's word is available as a channel for supernatural empowerment. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, it said, The word of the Lord is quick, powerful, and sharper. Quick, powerful, and sharper. That means it's quick and it can quicken. It's powerful so that it can fill with power. That means full of power. And God's word that is full of power will fill you with power. Mental empowerment, financial empowerment, spiritual empowerment, empowerment for qualitative decision. The Bible says it is sharper than any two-edged sword. So it can break into pieces. It can remove what's supposed not to be there. It can divide. I pray for you today that as God's word is coming your way, you will be supernaturally empowered. The power you need to break through in life will rest upon you. The power for your lifting will come upon you. Mental empowerment to advance will rest upon you. Spiritual empowerment to break limits is coming upon your life. The power that will take you from minimum to maximum is going to rest upon you the power that will lose you from sickness lose you from shame lose you from reproach lose you from being ridiculed the power that will transform your life and situation is going to come upon you today in the name of jesus so god's power is a life transforming force and it is available for us in the word of god so get connected stay tuned right now because god's word is coming your way and it is coming with power. Now, in case you are just tuning in, this is still Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. A Moment of Empowerment is a prophetic and revelational broadcast that is designed to empower you towards taking your rightful place in destiny. Now, right before I go into this message, I would like to extend an invitation to you to come and celebrate Jesus with us at the Empowerment Center in any of our services. Let's come together. Let's celebrate Jesus. I look forward to having you come around, worship God, enjoy the word, revelation, word-loaded church, enjoy the prayer, enjoy the flow of power and prophetic manifestations all around at the Empowerment Center. The Empowerment Center is a non-denominational, life-transforming, multicultural church of God. We care for you. We love you and we want to express the love of God to you as you come. Come visit us in any of our services. The address is right there on the screen. The Empowerment Center in Arlington, Texas. For direction, if you need direction or you need more information, you can call the number on the screen or you can also go to the website for more information. I want to see you. I want to have you come around. Let's together give God the glory and the praise for your life. And I want you to come and connect with what God is doing in our midst. Taste and see that the Lord is good in the precious name of Jesus. Now, today I shall be teaching on what I have entitled, Give No Room to the Devil. i like you to say that with me. Give no room to the devil. Give no room to the devil. Open your Bible with me to Ephesians chapter 4. We look at scripture from verse 25 to verse 27. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 25 to verse 27. The Bible says, We are for putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Now listen to me. The devil is an opportunist. The devil is an opportunist. Every opportunity you give to the devil, he will always ensure that he maximizes it to the full. When you give room to the devil in any situation of life, he wants to maximize it to the full. The Bible says in Job chapter 2 verse 7, So the devil, or Satan, went forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with soil balls from the sole of his feet unto his crown. So devil is looking for an opportunity to afflict, attack, and to carry out his operation. He's an opportunist. The opportunity he had against Job, he used it to the full maximum. To bring down Job. Job lost all his properties in the same day. He lost all his children in the same day. The devil struck him with sickness, boil all over his body. Man, the devil is a bastard. 
The devil is a stupid and dangerous devil. He's always on assignment to make evil, to cast havoc, to turn things around for evil. But hear me today, in Jesus' name, I close every door against the devil in your life, against the devil in your marriage. Wherever he has occupied before, I command him to live right now. I rebuke the devil in your body. I command him to leave your finances. I command the devil to leave your home alone. I command the devil to leave your children. I command the devil to get out of the life of your son. Somebody is watching me right now. You have a son that is always so, so much on the eye side of life. The Bible, God is telling me that he's always very angry, very ex ex excessively angry. When he manifests in anger, he turns everything over and turn everything around. I rebuke the devil in the life of that your son. I rebuke the devil in the life of that your children. In the precious name of Jesus. So the devil is an opportunist. He's always looking for an opportunity to cause evil. He's always looking for an opportunity to make something happen that is negative. When you look at the text we read, Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 25. Bible says, wherefore, putting away lying. So there are some things to put away for some things to go away. Hear me? Until you put away what you need to put away, some things that needs to go away will not go. There are some things you need to put away. The Bible says, therefore, putting away lying. Now, let's connect with, I'm still coming back to that. Let's connect with some deep revelation in God's word uh, from the scripture that we have read about give no room to the devil. Now, when you look at verse 27, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27, you will discover the Bible says, neither give place or room to the devil. Number one thing I want to share with you from here is this, that there is a devil. There is a devil. And we are not to be ignorant of his devices. To be ignorant of the devices of the devil is to be cheaply defeated by the devil. We are not to be ignorant of the Some people say there is no devil. This Bible says there is a devil. There is, he said, give no place to the devil. So there is a devil. The devil is passionately after you. There is a devil passionately after you. The Bible says the devil is the doer of evil. The word devil means when you take the D away, what you have is evil. So the devil is the doer of evil. He's the accuser of the brethren. Who is the devil? The devil is the enemy of the saint. Who is the devil? The devil is a thief. Who is the devil? The devil is the father of liars. John chapter 8 verse 34, the Bible says, and the devil is the father of liars. Is the, so the devil is a liar. The devil is a thief. The devil is the accuser of the bedroom. The devil is the doer of evil. And I want you to know he is passionately after you. How did I know? Everyone that has a glorious future, everyone that is going somewhere, everyone that has a great destiny to fulfill is a target of the devil because he doesn't want good things to happen. His assignment is to cause evil. In 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, the Bible says, Be vigilant, be sober. For your adversary, the Bible call it the adversary, your adversary. So the devil is your adversary. The devil, as a roaring lion, will get about, seeking whom he may devour. So he's on, he's on assignment, walking about, walking about to carry out his negative assignment. There will not be room for him in your life. I decree, wherever he has occupied currently, I serve him eviction notice in the name of Jesus. I command the devil to leave your home. I command the devil to leave your health in the name of Jesus. So understand there is a devil. From the text we read, we saw that there is a devil. Number two thing I want you to know is that room can be given to the devil. That's why the Bible said give no room so good room can be given to him. And I saw from scriptural revelation that the devil is looking for room. The devil is always looking for an opportunity. That word room means a stepping ground. That word room means a, a, an opportunity, a privilege. So he's looking for an opportunity to manifest his assignment. The Bible says he's working about. What is the assignment of the devil? John chapter 10 and verse 10. The devil. The Bible says the thief comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. That is the assignment of the devil. The triune assignment of the devil is to steal, to kill, 
and to destroy. Hear yeah, I me mean, now, under this prophetic authority. Now, the prayer unction is flowing right now. If you are listening to me, call in that number right now on the screen because the prayer unction is flowing. I'm praying the Lord is speaking to me to get the devil out of your journey by rebuking him and by resisting him. Calling for prayers right now. In the name of Jesus, everywhere the devil has been stealing from you, I command him arrested. Whatever he has stolen, he will restore back in seven folds. In the name of my goodness, where the devil has stolen things in your finances, stolen things in your health, stolen things in your own, I command him to restore it now. Return it back in Jesus' name. I rebuke the devil that is killing things in your health, killing, destroying you, destroying your marriage. I rebuke Rebuke him in Jesus' name. I command the activities and the operations of the devil over your life to be intercepted and to be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Where the devil has kept you, come out from there in the name of Jesus. Give no room to the devil. He's an opportunist. So room can be given to him. He's walking about, walking about, looking for whom to, be, to devour. Your life is not going to be available. So number three revelation I'm sharing with you from there is that you are to take responsibility not to give room to the devil. You are to take responsibility. That's why the Bible says, neither give room, do not give room to the devil, or neither give place. So the responsibility of not allowing the devil to manifest in your life or to continue is a function of you taking responsibility. Until you take responsibility, you will continue to be a liability. Until you take a responsibility, you will continue to be a liability. So you got to take responsibility not to allow the devil to have a breathing ground, an occupying space in your life. So we are to take it. I discover that it is the room that you give the devil that determines the height of his operations in your life. The room you make available for the devil is what determines how long he will be there. So many people have given room to the devil in their homes, giving room to the devil by speaking negative things over their children, giving room to the devil. I will be showing you some ways by which we give room to the devil right now. But I want you to understand that we are to take responsibility not to give room to the devil. Listen to me. Everyone that is born of God is potentially ordained to live a triumphant life in God. You are packaged, designed, and heavenly handed over on the earth to live a triumphant life. You are designed to live a life that is full of victory. You are not designed to be defeated. How did I know? First John chapter 5 and verse 4. Everyone that is born of God overcometh the world. So you are packaged to overcome. You are not to become over. You are to overcome. However, many triumph has been turned to defeat because they have given room to the devil. Many successes have been turned to failure. Many have moved from grace to disgrace because room has been given to the devil. Many marriages have been destroyed. Children's lives have been destroyed because they have given room to the devil. When you give room to the devil, he destroys, he steals, he creates confusion, he creates distraction, he brings dejection. When you give room to the devil, he brings rejection, he brings oppression. When you give to the room to the devil, he brings every form of affliction and every kind of oppression that makes the mission of life unfavorable. Where you have opened door for the devil in your life, I command the door. Close. I command his operation and his entourages, his oaths and his manifestation to cease in your life in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Now, if you want to know more about the devil, you want to know more about his operation. Now, I'm offering this prophetic CD message. This is a four-pack message. I'll continue with the message, but I want to say this to you right now. A four-pack message is a four-pack audio message that is called discerning and defeating satanic strategies. Now, for any donation to the ministry, I will be sending this to you. If any donation you make to the ministry, the empowerment center, the address will come on the screen later. And I will mail this to you. It's a four-pack message discerning and defeating satanic strategies. In this message, you will understand Revelation of Truth 14. Revelation of Truth on the person the purpose and the pattern of Satan, how the devil operates. You will also understand 
how you can defeat him. You will also connect with Revelation on how the provision of heaven has been made for strategic victory over the works of the devil. I want you to place, I mean, to make a donation. Any donation you make to the ministry, I will send this to you. I will send this to you, and I know it will be a blessing to you. So call in right now to make a donation, or go on the website, or on the screen, uh, wordrevival.org, make a donation. I will send this, any donation to advance the work of God, I will send this to you to be a blessing to you. It's a four-pack series message. It will bless your life in the precious name of Jesus. Now, let's continue. I was talking about give no room to the devil. I've showed you that when you give room to the devil, he comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. He can bring down marriages. When he has an opportunity, he wants to turn everything upside down. Now, let me show you some channels via which we do give room to the devil. What are the channels? How do we give room? Just some of them, very few of them I want to share with you right now. Number one is through lying. Yes, you hear me? Lying. That's why the Bible says when we started in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25, he said, he said uh, put away lying. Put away lying. So until you put away lying, you cannot shift away devil. Now, I'm going to tell you something about that. You need to understand that. What does it mean to lie? To lie means to pervert the truth. To hide the truth. So that's why the Bible says, put away lying. Until you put away lying, you cannot defeat the devil. Why? Because John chapter 8 verse 34, the Bible says he is the father of liars. So when you are lying, you, you got to be the son of the devil. Uh -huh. That's what the scripture says. That's what the scripture says. And I want you to know that lying gives an opportunity for the devil to operate. That's why the Bible says you must turn away lying. Get it off. It does not do you any good. It may look good now, but the effectual effect of it is distractors. The effectual effect of it is life, destruct, is, is life destroying. So the Bible says lying. Go away with lying because it gives room to the devil. In Acts of Apostles chapter 5 verse 1 to 5, something happened in the church, the early church, talking about a husband called Ananias and Sapphira. They sold their property right away, but suddenly they came to Peter to come and tell Peter that they perverted the price. They said, we sold it for a lesser price. But Peter made a statement. He said, why have you allowed Satan to fill your earth? So I saw there that lying give room for Satan. In Acts chapter 5 verse 3, look at what Peter said. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? So lying is one of the instruments that gives room to the devil in our life. Number two, how do we give room to the devil? Number two is to anger. Anger. That's why the Bible says in verse 26 of the same scripture, Ephesians chapter 4, Be ye angry, but do not sin. Do not let your anger become sinful. When does your anger become sinful? When your anger gets to the point where it's destroying things, when your anger gets to the point where it's turning everything around, you are uncontrollable, uncontrollable anger. The Bible even says when your anger goes beyond the day, it said, do not let your do, do, do not let the sun go down upon your anger or your wrath. So once the sun goes down upon your wrath, it's become a sin. And it gives room to the devil. When you see people always getting angry, something is wrong somewhere. Anger is a spirit. And when the spirit of anger takes over you, it makes you, it gives room to the devil to do some other of his assignment. To carry out some of his, when you see somebody that is seriously angry, it can turn into violence. And that is, the devil is already taking place in there. Many marriages, homes have been broken because of anger. What's supposed to have been solved easily has, 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 has become big because of anger. I cast the spirit of anger in your family in the name of Jesus. Number three, how do we give room to the devil? Through fear. Fear. Fear is a spirit. And I want you to know that fear has torment. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. So spirit of fear is not of God. Spirit of fear is not of God. When you are fearful, you attract the devil. When you are fearful, you attract the devil. When fear is at work, faith is at rest. And it takes faith to live victoriously. Fear always attracts evil. Look at what Job said in Job chapter 3. Verse 25 to 26, Job said, For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me. So it came because I feared. 
the thing which I greatly feared come upon me because I was afraid of it. I was fearful, then I attracted it. What you are afraid of, you attract. And he said, that which I was afraid of is come up to me. But Job never knew that there was something behind the fear. It was the spirit of fear that wanted him to come down and wants to give the room for the devil to work in his life. Look at what he said in verse 26. I was not in safety, neither had I rest, neither was I quiet, yet trouble came. Trouble came. He never knew that God has built a wall around him. Even when the wall has been there, he was afraid and fear brought the devil to manifest in his life. Everywhere fear has invited, attracted the devil into your family, your journey. I command it to be destroyed right now. I cast the spirit of fear away. I bind the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. One other way we give room to the devil is through unforgiveness and bitterness. Unforgiveness and bitterness. You cannot be bitter and expect things to be better. I know someone is listening to me right now. The spirit of the Lord is quickening your spirit and nudging you right now. That you have given room to the devil in some places. You have given room to the devil probably in your marriage. You have given room to the devil over your children. We give room to the devil when you speak negative things. When you allow strife. When you allow anger. When you allow malice. You give room to the devil. And some is listening to me right now watching me. You have been struggling with forgiven people. You have the root of bitterness and it needs to be uprooted. I want to pray with you right now. Because when you give room to the devil, he wants to maximize it to the full. When you give room to the devil through anger, it can lead to sickness. It can lead to affliction. The devil is only looking for a small door. When he gets a small door, he wants to get into it and turn the whole thing around. I want to pray with you right now. I want to pray for you right now. You know you have given room to the devil in your life by living a, a, a life that is against God, by living a life that is just inviting the devil. You have given room to the devil. I want to pray with you. Call the number on the screen right now. Call in right now. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you that God will give you grace to forgive, to let go, or pull the seed of bitterness. If you're always having the spirit of fear, I want to pray with you that God will set you loose and release you in the precious name of Jesus. You are not to give room to the devil by resisting him. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee away from you. But you got to first of all submit to God. When you submit to God, then you can resist the devil. That's when it will fly away from you. Now I want to pray with you all over the world, wherever you are watching me. In the name of Jesus, stretch forth your hands to the screen right now. The power of God is coming over you. I rebuke the devil in your life. I command in Jesus' name. The Bible says, and there was no more room for him in heaven. I cast him out of your life. I rebuke him in your marriage. I command his hand over your life to be lifted. Devil, take your hands off that woman. Take your hands off that child. Take your hands off their business. Take your hands off their finances. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever you have taken away, restore, return, bring it back. In the name of Jesus, I hold a wall. In the name of Jesus, I erect a standard against the devil. His operation, his activities, and his effort over you will no longer prosper. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. So shall it be. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I know you have been blessed by this broadcast. But from today... Go, give no room to the devil, submit to God, resist the devil every day, and he will flee away from you. God bless you. Now, I'd like to see you at the Empowerment Center on Sunday, on Thursday. Till I come your way again next week, stay empowered and keep empowering others. God bless you. Amen.